Hello everybody, my name is Cyrix and I'll be your narrator for today. We're going to be doing a series on the 611 rabbit hole, starting with level 611. Level 611, Comfortable Housing, Survival Difficulty, Class Zero, Safe, Secure, Devoid of Entities. Description Level 611 is a suburban house that has been estimated to be the size of Ontario, Canada. Looking out of the windows will reveal a neighborhood covered in snow and ice, families and facelings playing in the snow, and countless vehicles driving along the road. The level has a day and night cycle which has been observed to last around 24 hours. The level has various rooms corresponding to what a household would contain such as various hallways, kitchens, living rooms, bedrooms, bathrooms, and the occasional basements. The level's temperature has been estimated to be about 20 degrees Celsius. Most of the doors in this level will typically lead to even more hallways and rooms, branching pathways, and countless dead ends. The level's kitchens have many types of food found in the cabinets, fridges, freezers, and pantries, which seem to never expire. The bedrooms of level 611 have various electronic devices, such as computers, tablets, and various video game consoles. The beds seem to be comfortable enough for sleep to take place. However, not every bedroom has one. The living rooms will always contain a television hooked up to a video game console. The most common console connected to a television is the Nintendo Switch. The houses seem to be uncomfortable and can cause major back pain if sat on for too long. Any door with the people seem to be unopenable. These doors have a very complex lock, needing a passcode, voice recognition, fingerprint scan, and potential ID card scan. All of these locks seem to bring you to the neighborhood, as described earlier. Colonies and outposts. Many colonies and outposts seem to live here. However, there only seems to be one that wants their presence known. They are known as the archivists. They have said to be on this level for around 12 years. However, there is no evidence to back this up. They seem to be made up of 30 members, are open to trade, and will let other wanderers join the group if needed. They seem to be very friendly for the most part. Rumors say they will sacrifice any wanderer who misbehaves. It is best that if this rumor is true, do not join the colony. Entrances and Exits Entrances The only known way to enter level 611 is through any door in level 610. Each door has a very small chance of taking you here. Exits. There is no known exits at the current time of documentation. The residents of the cell have tried and tried to find an exit countless of times, countless amount of times for the estimated 12 years they've been on this level. However, they had no luck. Now it's time for the main event. Level 611. Metathesiophobia. Survival difficulty, class 5. Unsafe, unsecure, entity infestation. Level 611 is the 612th level of the backrooms. Description As said before, level 611 is a suburban house that has been said or estimated to be the size of Ontario, Canada. Looking out of the windows will reveal heaps of snow on the ground, going to about 17 centimeters high. This level has been deemed safe for a while under the colonists who used to live here, until as of recently, due to the discovery of multiple entities upon facing a certain direction. This effect is the most confusing and otherworldly to occur within the backrooms. It is only understood by a select few members of a colony they used to call this level home. Depending on what direction you are facing, the lighting and atmosphere of this level will change drastically. The level is sensitive to eye or body movement. At one point, level 611 was getting overpopulated. Because of the following event that occurred, level 611 became self-aware, or so people thought, 
developing its ability to control light depending on where wanderers are facing. Some say a certain being has brought this curse upon the level for how populated it was. In fact, she hated it. This effect has been deemed as the organic switch phenomenon. Objects like compasses are capable of functioning within this level. Light mode. As by the photograph, anybody who is facing north of the level will be free of any real dangers. The brightness poses a serious threat to Wanderer's eyesight, as it gets blurry and disordered. While facing north, people are prone to develop insomnia due to the constant effect of the lights. There have been a handful of reports from Wanderers stating that they are unable to blink or even close their eyes in very specific situations. There is a plethora of items such as almond water, neon water, and other useful supplies. They will disappear when facing south. Before that change occurred, any and all items within the level will be usable at any time regardless of direction. The items that you pick up will become yours, even when you happen to turn around. Even if you were to turn around, any items you picked up will still be in your inventory. Just not within view. When facing north, certain functions of the brain will cease control. The ability to feel fear, respond to pain, and brightness stimuli will be absent. Another weird effect while facing north occurs when attempting to sleep. Whoever attempts to go to sleep within this level will start lucid dreaming while their eyes are open. These dreams were reported to contain loved ones from the real world abandoning the wanderer at birth. The parents in the dream say, oh dear, oh dear, look at what we have here. A psycho child, I presume? We will have to wait for the truth to reveal. Could we ever be so sure? No, we are just going to assume. Pfft, what am I saying? Of course we know. Bye, my poor and lost soul. Nobody will ever love you again. This effect puts wanderers under severe mental trauma. As a side note, these wanderers will become aggressive, cannibalistic, and immune to all mental effects. The level's temperature will be at a stable 18 degrees Celsius while facing north. Dark mode. Turn out the light. While facing south, the level will turn pitch black. There are some light sources hidden in very hard to reach areas that faintly illuminate the level with an orange tint. From the outside, the snowy neighborhood gets replaced with an eerie void of various objects like cars, other households, brick, pens, paper, trees, and laptops all floating in place. Entities will spawn at an abnormal rate with the most abundant being Smilers, Insanities, the Shadows of the Past, Hounds, Televisions, Windows, and Sugar Feasters. Most items will dematerialize upon facing south. This will not apply to any food-like substance. Any food-like substance, like a banana for example, will immediately decompose, grow mold, algae, and various fungi. While facing south, you will feel extreme fear, pain, and develop schizophrenia if unlucky. The food used to never expire, making it a hot spot for colonization. All entities besides the televisions are highly aggressive and have been reported to attack other entities for food or territory. Sleep is possible here, however it is not advised to attempt it as constant nightmares will haunt you for life. These nightmares consist of events that the wanderer never participated in. Like World War II, for example. Many people have reported hallucinations. These hallucinations will take the form of childhood memories. However, nobody gains recognition of these memories upon first contact. Many people have heard the sounds of water dripping on the ground, the screams of children, fireworks exploding, the sounds of joy, and gunshots. There is no apparent source for each of the reported audio cues. A handful of MEG agents have been dispatched, ordered with the task of building a fully functioning base within level 611. They were unsuccessful. However, the agents noted that when facing north, every single light in the level turns on, 
while facing south, makes the level go into a pitch black state. The darkness didn't stop them though. It managed a base for a total of 7 minutes before being attacked by various entities. That has been noted by the agents to be completely impossible to colonize the level in any form of media. Entities All the entities in this level were, exist when you face south, with the most abundant being Smilers, Insanities, the Shadows of the Past, te Nouns, Televisions, Windows, and Sugar Feasters, along with a lot more common entities to the backrooms like Mimics, Mountain Pianos, Ari Arania Membri, Carbonations, Radios, Glowfolk, Monochrome, Eyes, Skin Sealers, Death Moths, and Death Rats. Colonies and Outposts There are no more colonies or outposts on this level. All have either moved out of level 611 while they had the chance, or have been killed in their attempts to escape. They had no choice to leave level 611 due to the lack of sleep. If the people on this level stayed any further, it could result in major eye irritation and a potential chance for the wretched cycle to implement itself into the inhabitants of the level. They were completely aware of the phenomena when the usual day and night cycle was quote unquote paused. Entrances and exits. Going into entrances. Going to a hallway with half the lights on and half the lights off in the hotel area of level 610 will bring you here. In level 618, running the computer command like control that ANA will bring you here. In level exclamation mark, you can enter level 611 with no clipping through the hordes of entities running in your direction. The chances of this happening are very slim. You can enter this level from jumping full force out of the window in level negative 188. Exits. All exits will only appear when facing south. These are the majorly known ones. A note. Exits were not a thing when this level was previously colonized. They somehow appeared after this thing transformed it into this mess. Hopping onto any bed and attempting to sleep has a slim chance to of taking you to level 612. Entering any door has a slim chance of bringing you to the end. Breaking down a door has a slim chance of bringing you to level 0. There is an even slimmer chance of this exit taking you to, to the server room instead of level 0. Dropping down a hole will bring you to the Whisper Guaranteed. There is a very small chance that opening any door will reveal a staircase going down. Going down the staircase will bring you to level 611.1. Entering a bathroom is a small chance of bringing you to level 612. Cyrix out.